வணக்கம் தி மஸ்ட் நோ சீரீஸ் சிம்பிளிஃபைங் லேர்னிங் ஃபிக்சேஷன் ஆஃப் மெட்டகாப்பல் ஃப்ராக்சர்ஸ் வித் கே ஒயர்ஸ் அண்ட் எஸ்எஸ் ஒயர்ஸ் After open reduction of metacarpal shaft fractures in the fingers, we need to fix the fractures also to give them stability. We shall learn how to do this in simple ways using K wires and stainless steel wires in this must know series video. The commonest method of fixation after open reduction is with the use of K wires. The K wires can be used in different configurations. single multiple or crossed with different orientations transverse or longitudinal with versatile usage they can be used as stand alone fixation they can supplement other methods of fixation and they can also substitute if other methods of fixation if they fail there are some disadvantages in using k wires for fixation they are not rigid they may loosen or migrate and they may distract the fracture fragments if not inserted properly pin tract infections may develop and pin protrusion may hamper therapy apart from the routine technique of k wire fixation of metacarpal shaft fractures there are some important points that we need to remember multiple passes with the wires should be avoided this results in lot of heat injury and also may cause loosening of the wires after fixation so i advise what is known as one pass fixation that is you reduce the fractures hold them and fix it with a single pass of the k wire it may not be perfect but it will allow good healing of the bone with longitudinal k wire fixation alone there would still be a rotatory instability hence this fixation should be supported with a pop slab The K wire should not project into the joint especially the metacarpophalangeal joint as this may lead to problems during mobilization in this example the K wires have done a satisfactory reduction and fixation but they project into the metacarpophalangeal joints and this may compromise the results one end of the wire would be under the skin we prefer to cut it short and bury it under the skin to reduce the chances of pin tract infections developing of course this would entail another short procedure to remove the wire we always need to use a splint support while starting therapy and it is not advisable to be in a hurry to remove the k wires at 3 weeks unless the wrist joint is immobilized the k wires can be left on as long as possible for up to even 4 weeks till the patient understands the importance of therapy and splint support in this illustrative example the k wires were removed at exactly 3 weeks and patient asked to mobilize patient presented after another 2 weeks with recurrent angulation of the metacarpal shaft k wire fixation is indicated ideally for isolated short oblique and transverse fractures of the metacarpal shaft if possible it should be supplemented with composite wiring to increase the rigidity of the fixation the next method of fixation is composite fixation otherwise known as tension band wiring this method is a combination which uses k wires and monofilament stainless steel wire the stainless steel wire is inserted as a tension band through a small transverse drill hole in the distal fragment crossed around the k wires at the bone interface proximally The advantages of this technique of tension band wiring are that it provides additional stability, fracture compression, superior strength, stiffness and bony approximation and most importantly the fixation that it provides is stable enough to permit early motion. The contraindications for the use of this technique are bone loss, comminution of the fracture and osteopenia. The next fixation techniques are the cerclage and intraosseous wiring. Cerclage wiring was described in 1984. 24 gauge stainless steel wiring were used for oblique and spiral metacarpal shaft fractures. According to this method, drill holes are passed in a single cortex both proximal and distal to the fracture and intraosseous wire is used. and then a stainless steel wire is used to go around the entire circumference of the bone 
to hold it in place. The interosseous wiring technique on the other hand uses stainless steel wire to go between the fracture ends which may be used along with a single K wire to augment the stability of the construct. The two interosseous wires may be in a 90-90 configuration or two parallel constructs. A study stated that for metacarpal shaft fractures, interosseous wiring even without K wire fixation is rigid enough for immediate post-operative finger mobilization. The role of K-wire would be required only if there was comminution or bone loss.